Hi, Dave Youngquist, Michigan Toy Soldier, and welcome to Painting a Horse with MIG Production Oil Paints, Part 2. Now, on the last episode, we were able to finish all the base coating with the dark rust color. Then I've gone back and put in some shadow colors uh, using the base color, which is the, uh, the dark rust with just a bit of black, and then applied the highlights with the light rust color. So we've got a real good working spot now to begin our finishing details, which is really painting the veining. All of the work on the horse furniture, saddle, what have you, will be done acrylics at a later date. But before we get started, I wanted to talk about this great book that I've had for some time. The book uh, is called Painting Miniatures by Daniello Cartacci. I might be butchering his name, but I'll tell you, everything I've learned about painting horses and oils, I've gotten out of this book. It's also fantastic for figure painting, designing small vignettes. I highly recommend this book. You all should grab one. All right, let's get started finishing up the horse and oils. Okay, so I've mixed up a bit of the dark rust and the black to get this real nice chocolate brown color. And when painting details, I've now switched to a number one brush. What we're going to do is paint a shadow line right beside or underneath the large vein that runs across the horse's belly. And we'll feather this in in a minute, but we need to get that contrast. And we've got one on the front leg right there okay so we clean our brush just a bit of thinner and we're going to add a bit of our highlight color which is light rust with just a touch of the dark rust we don't want the highlight to pop too much and go across the top end of it you should be able to see that pop right out again if your contrast too strong remember it's oil paint you can feather it right out Okay, so now we've got the shadow and the highlight applied. Now I'm going to take one of my larger brushes and just slightly feather that out. This brush is dry, by the way, and that'll just slightly reduce a bit of that contrast. Okay, so I flipped the horse around and we're going to do the same thing on this side. Again, using that darker color. And just a touch of that highlight color to make those veins pop. And again, now I'm going to let this dry for a couple minutes, then I'll feather, feather that in. Okay, so we're just going to feather out some of those shadows and highlights we put on the veins. And as always, thanks so much for stopping by, and we'll see you soon with the next video.